Well, as usual in the uh, process of rehearsing an opera, the, the singers and the chorus, the principal singers and chorus have been, I think they're in their seventh week of production now, and the orchestra started last week to rehearse the piece, so it's been a great, well, a great surprise. It's one of the operas that I've, I've been to see. Uh, it's, of course, it's written by a great symphony composer, so the, the orchestra are really interested in this piece. Um, and we've just had the rehearsal where the singers and the orchestra come together, the Zitz Proben. So we've been able to hear the the piece in its uh, you know, in its full glory. Yeah, I've I've uh, I've wanted to play Queen of Spades along with other things like the Ring <laughs> for for many years. Of course, the the orchestra, the, the sorry, Opera North has done on Yegin on several occasions and uh, another opera by Tchaikovsky, but Queen of Spades is a big one and uh, it's, uh, as I say, if you're an orchestral player then you are interested in Tchaikovsky anyway because of the great symphonic pieces that he wrote, but to, to have to marry that with the, the, uh, the opera format is just brilliant for us, it's got the big pieces, the big symphonic sound, as well as the, the baroque type of pieces that Tchaikovsky used to toy with, like in his fourth suite for instance. <clears throat> you don't often find orchestral players nipping off to <laughs> stage and piano rehearsals, but for me it's, it's, quite, um, it's quite nice because I get to sit uh, right next to the conductor, right by the pit wall, so if I'm not actually glued to the music and playing, I can sort of just glance up there and see pretty much everything. I've enjoyed watching Ruddy Gore and that beautiful production of Butterfly from my seat. I can't see the right at the back, but I can see most things, and it's, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the Queen of Spades production.